In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and install a Facebook Pixel. If you're using Facebook ads to send people to your website, you need to have a Facebook Pixel installed. Without it, your, your campaigns are guaranteed to fail. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up quickly and easily. But first, let me just explain to you what a Pixel actually does. It's a little piece of code that you're going to put onto your website and it tracks data. It allows Facebook to see what people are doing when they land on your website. So you've got some kind of ad set up. Facebook sends people from that ad to your website. And if you have a pixel in place, it allows, face, it allows Facebook to gather data on that person. It allows to see, the, see if that person purchased something, if they click something, if they opted into a form, if they scheduled a call, all kinds of stuff. And it's really important to know because if Facebook doesn't have that data, then they have no way of optimizing your campaign to try to bring you more leads, to try to keep your ad costs down, and to try to keep the overall performance of your ads up. Without a pixel in place, Facebook has Facebook is completely blind. They don't know what's happening on your website. All right, so let's get started. Right now, I'm in an example ad account. And to get to this page, you just have to go to adsmanager.facebook.com. Now, the first thing you want to do is go over here on the left side where these three lines are. It says all tools. Click on that. And under the shortcuts, you should see events manager. If you don't see events manager up here, it'll be down here somewhere probably on the right side. Here it is, events manager under advertise. So click on events manager. Okay, so in this example ad account, I don't have any data sets. I don't have any pixels set up and you shouldn't either if you're just starting this completely from scratch. If you already have a pixel set up, I'll show you how to integrate it and test it in a minute. But if assuming you don't have any pixels or data sets set up, you should see a screen that looks something like this. So what you're going to want to do is connect data, click on that button, and we're collecting from a website. So click web and then next, and you're going to want to name this data set. So in my case, I'm just going to call it test data set, but you can call it whatever your company's name is, and then hit create. Now it's going to try to get you to set up conversions API gateway. That's something that's a little bit different than setting up a pixel, and it's going to require a dedicated video, which I have. But for now, let's just set this up manually using code. So click set up manually and then click next and then click metapixel and click next and then just click finish. Now we've set up this data set. Here's the ID up here in the top right, which you might need later, but we'll come back to that. First, go to go to get data sources. Now, when this page loads, you'll be able to scroll down and, and click set up metapixel. Now you've got two different options here. There's a lot of different websites out there on the internet. You might be using Shopify. You might be using ClickFunnels. You might be using WordPress. There's a lot of different options out there. So the first thing you want to do it, to keep this super simple is just check to see if there's a partner integration available. You click on that, it gives you a ton of different options. There's a very high probability that the website builder that you're using is on this list. Now, I don't have time to go through all of these different options, obviously, but if you click on any of these, whatever one's relevant to you, let's say WordPress, for example, it'll show you instructions on how to set up your pixel through that integration, and it makes it super simple, very fast and easy to do, and that's how you can do it. I'm going to show you how to do this manually. So if I come back here and I click install code manually, Facebook is going to create a brand new pixel and it's going to give me this code, which is just like a little bit of HTML and JavaScript that we can paste onto our website. And we're going to put this on our website in the header so that it's on all of the pages of our website. So that way Facebook knows when somebody lands on anywhere on our website. So I'm going to just copy this code and it says paste the base code of the website within the head tag. So for example, if you're using something like ClickFunnels, which is very common, here's a funnel that I built. It's just a basic opt-in page where people, they give us their, their name, their email address, sometimes their phone number, and they click submit and they get sent to a thank you page where they uh, are able to download some kind of book or contract or something like that. So a very common use for Facebook ads, some kind of free download or maybe a paid download. So it's just got two pages. It's got the main page that people land on where they opt in and then it sends them to a thank you page. So we want to install the Facebook pixel on this. So on ClickFunnels, you'd go to settings and then they have this section here for head, the tracking code, the head tracking code. There's already a script here for something else, but I'm just going to put some spaces here and I'm going to put the Facebook meta pixel here at the top of this, at the top of this code box. I'm going to paste that in here and then I'm just going to hit save down here at the bottom. Okay. Pixel is installed on this website. Okay, now that the Pixel is installed, I'm just going to hit continue on Facebook. I'm going to turn on automatic advanced tracking and I'm going to hit continue. And now we are presented with the event setup tool. And this allows us to test that the Pixel was actually set up and then we can track specific events. And so we're going to open this tool up and we're going to enter the website URL. In this case, I want to enter the website URL of the thank you page. So they, they land on that main page, they enter their info, and then they go to the thank you page. This is where I'm going to enter that. 
Now, when I click open website, it's going to open that thank you page. It's going to load this little event setup tool here over on the left side. Now, in this case, for this particular funnel that I've built here, the idea is that we're running Facebook ads to the opt-in page. Facebook can see that they landed on the opt-in page, but we need to let them know that the person actually made it to the thank you page. In other words, they actually submitted their info, info to us, their email, their name, et cetera, and they became a lead because that's the valuable thing. I don't want people just landing on the main page. I want them to actually convert into leads because that's what I'm paying for with Facebook. So I want them to I want them to optimize the campaign for that type of lead. So in order to do that, I'm just going to click track a URL. And in this case, it brings up the exact URL of this particular thank you page. And I'm going to select an event. I'm going to select leads. But you could set up purchases. So maybe the main page they land on is a shopping cart page. They fill out all their info, they buy your product, and then they go to a thank you page. In that case, you'd want to set up a purchase, or maybe it's a call booking page. So they land on a, a booking page, and then they go to your thank you page. You'd want, to, you'd want to set it up for that. In this case, for most people, it's probably going to be leads, but you're going to change that depending on what your situation is, depending on what your page is set up for. So in this case, it's leads. Now, if you want to include a value here, you can. Some people want to attach some kind of dollar value to how valuable their leads are to them. In this case, I don't want to include a value. And then obviously currency is set to USD. And then I'm just going to hit confirm. Boom. Now, anytime somebody lands on that opt-in page, they enter their info and then they're sent to this thank you page. They are now tracked as a lead by Facebook. Now, Facebook can say, okay, this is what a lead looks like for this particular landing page. So now we're going to try to optimize the campaign for people that look like this. And that data will get sent back to Facebook's machine learning and it'll try to optimize it to find more people that look like that. So I've just hit finish setup and then hit finish. Now we want to actually test that this is working. So I'm going to actually test it with this green button because this is a brand new data set, brand new pixel. We just set it up. There isn't actually any data here. You want to check back in a day or so. You should see a graph showing page views and maybe even conversions if you're actively using that page. But for now, let's just actually test that the event was set up correctly. Go to test events. And then go down here to the bottom where it says, confirm your website events are set up correctly. Open this. Enter your website URL for the actual opt-in page. And then just hit open website. Now pretend you're a lead. You can enter in fake info if you want. But just opt into this page as if you were a lead and see if, it, and see if the test event is able to track it. So I entered my info. I get sent to the thank you page. So if you come back over here to the test events, it registered a page view. So it saw me land on the actual main opt-in page and then it actually saw me click the button after i entered my info and then it registered another page view showing that it saw me land on the thank you page now in this case it doesn't actually say lead here it doesn't say there's no lead event which we just created a minute ago and that could just be because there's a delay on the data this is a brand new facebook pixel brand new data set so you might have to just check back on this in a day or so and see and see if it, it registers correctly However, what's even more likely is that the Facebook pixel just isn't going to be able to correctly detect the lead event that you just set up. Even though you just use the event setup tool to set up a lead event using a URL, it might still not register a lead. And so what you have to do is do a little bit of a workaround where you manually embed some code into the header of that, of that thank you page. So this requires a little bit more technical knowledge. This is why I, I highly recommend you use the partner integrations. For, it, for installing your Pixel. If you have to do it this way, and it's just too technical for you, you could always hire somebody on Fiverr, or you could hire me to do this for you. So in order to get this to track correctly, we're going to have to go to ClickFunnels, into the thank you page, go to the header code, and inject a manual piece of code, a little snippet, just three lines, in order, in order for the Pixel to actually detect when people land on this page. So this is what that's, that's going to look like. In Settings, I'm going to open Tracking Code. And then I'm going to paste these three lines. Then I'm going to save the page. If you're not using ClickFunnels, you're going to want to do this for whatever your thank you page is, whatever website builder you're using, Wix, WordPress, whatever. Now let's try this again. I'm going to go back to test events. I'm going to go down here to confirm websites events are set up correctly. Enter the website address of the opt-in page itself. Open that website up. Again, I'm going to enter my info as though I'm a lead and then press submit. Now when I look in the events manager, there's a lead event when I landed on the actual thank you page itself. So now when I run a Facebook ad campaign and I'm trying to get it to optimize for leads, now we know that it's correctly capturing leads. Facebook is able to see when people are leads. Unfortunately, it required us to do a little bit of manual coding. The event setup tool, for whatever reason, just didn't work. This is very common. 
This is why I highly recommend you use the partner integrations to install your, your Facebook Pixel. But again, if you're a little bit technical, you, you can do this yourself. And if you want some help, you can always hire somebody on Fiverr to do this very cheaply, or you can hire me to do it. There's a link down below to speak with me to set this kind of stuff up for you. Now you have everything in place. You can now track events using your Facebook Pixel. Now you're ready to set up a Facebook ad campaign. So one of the next videos I have in this series is actually talking about setting up Facebook ad campaigns. But one thing I, I would like you to consider as well is to set up conversion API tracking and potentially even some kind of third-party tracking software like Hyros. And I have dedicated videos on these. I highly recommend you set those up, but otherwise you're ready to actually start setting up your campaign. So I appreciate you watching this video. I have a full playlist of everything you need to actually set up Facebook ads, including the campaigns and optimal campaign structure, etc. You can find the link to the playlist down below. If you're a business owner that's looking to actually start running Facebook ads to get better leads, to get better sales, you can consider hiring my team with the link down below. You can book a call with me. Other than that, I appreciate you watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.